Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to Steam users disable or enable Steam input. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, go to properties, go to controller tab. Now over here, first of all, you can try disable Steam input. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, in that case, you can go to controller tab once again. This time you can try enable Steam input and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, you can put it to default and then you can put it to de default and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to disconnect external devices. So if you have like HOTAs, uh, wheels, pedals, sim wheels, flight sticks or anything that act as a controller. You have to disconnect all those devices. So just unplug those devices, disconnect extra controller, like extra, if you have USB adapter, sometimes we have a USB adapter for controller or anything else connected, disconnect extra USB adapter connected to the computer, unplug external keyboard. Now this has also worked for uh, many players, so it might work for you. So if you have a wired keyboard connected, you can disconnect it and then launch the game and then check, disconnect additional uh, Controller, sometimes we have extra controller or dongle connected, disconnected. Disconnect arcade stick. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any kind of virtual controller like VJoy, etc., you can disable it or you can uninstall it and then relaunch the game and then check. Now the next step is now for non-Steam users, add the game to Steam. So you can install Steam on your computer if you don't have it installed and then you can go to uh, add a game option at the bottom left and then click on add a non steam game and if you see the game in the list you can select the game from the list if you don't see the game in the list in that case you can hit browse over here and then go to the game installations folder so wherever the game is installed you can open that in my case the game is in ea app so ea games and open the game folder now over here select the game exe file and then click on open and then click on add selected program and once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game from Steam and then you can check. Try both over here also when you launch the game. Check if that does not work, you can try both enable and disable option and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to add, uh, again for non-Steam user, add EA desktop app to Steam and then launch EA app from Steam and then launch the game. So first of all, if you have the EA app running, you can close EA app and then you can click go to Steam and then click on add a game, non-Steam game. And then you can click on browse over here and then uh, it's in C drive, program files, electronic arts, EA desktop, EA desktop select EA, doc, EA desktop over here and then click on open and then click on add selected program. Once it is added, now you can launch EA app from Steam and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode. So over here, uh, sorry, at the top right here, you can see enter big picture mode icon, click on it. Now, once the Steam is in big picture mode, now you can launch the game from here and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to update controller using PlayStation or Xbox accessories app. Now for this, uh, if you have Xbox controller, in that case, you can open Microsoft Store, search box, type in Xbox accessories app, install Xbox accessories app from store, and then you can launch Xbox accessories app and then you have to connect your controller. So you have to use the wired connection. So you can use the USB cable to connect the controller. It has to be a wired connection. And then let me connect the controller. Once the controller is connected, now you will it will detect your controller. Now click on these three dots and then if there is any update, you will see update option. Click on continue. In my case, it is already up to date. And once it is updated, now you can check. Similarly, if you have PlayStation controller, uh, in that case, you can search for, uh, you can install this PlayStation accessories app. So search in Google, go to the PlayStation official website, and then you can click on download for Windows. And then once the download is complete, uh, you can run this exe file and install it on your computer. 
in my case it is already installed so once it is installed now you can launch playstation accessories app and then you have to connect your controller now once the controller is connected it will detect your controller if there is any update you will see update option over here in my case it is already up to date so update your playstation controller and then launch the game once again and then you can check still not working enable uh, playstation controller user enable and configure controller in sound control panel now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then over here click on sound option click on sound over here and you have to connect your controller using the it has to be a wired connection so connect your controller using the cable that came with the controller the usb cable and then let me connect now is connected you will see your control over here make a right click and enable it so if this is disabled make a right click you will see the enable option enable it and then again make a right click go to configure speakers and quadraphonic over here next make sure front left and right and surround speaker both are checked over here and then click on next finish now you can launch the game and then you can check use wired connection so connect your controller using the usb cable and then once the controller is connected to the uh, it has a wired connection now you can launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel